Hey guys, it's Dr. George here and today I wanted to make a very brief video about the importance of support for the Safe Schools initiative. Um, I did all of my schooling here in Australia, in particularly in Brisbane, and as growing up as a gay male, it's an interesting thing. Whilst it wasn't obvious to myself that I was gay, I did know that I had difference, that I was different to the other people that were around me. And in school, this can be obvious to bullies and similar people as well, that that sense of difference isn't just to the person, but also to the people around them. And that can lead to bullying. Within my own school experience, I was bullied by students, and I was also systematically abused by the teachers as well, that they would actively participate in the bullying. Now, this is disturbing. The reasoning that I feel that the Safe Schools initiative is so important is that it actually helps identify the issues, that young, vulnerable people will be able to understand going, hey, I do have that sense of difference. However, there are other people around me who have similar differences and for the educators it will help highlight the fact that they should be able to identify bullying and that they certainly should not be participating in this. If we actually stop, if we block the protection of young vulnerable people, we are actioning the same actions as the teachers who ignore bullying, the teachers who participate bullying, and we're essentially saying to young vulnerable people, you are not worthy of protection. And this will lead to a group of people who will either be depressed, who will be anxious, or who may harm themselves. So. I think that this is a very important thing. I could easily go into the funding differences, but I don't want to do that. What I want to do say is that it is important that we look after young, vulnerable people within our lives because we may lose them if we don't nurture them, if we don't protect them, and if we don't show them that their life is worthy of care and protection, then this is somebody we may not see around in the future. So I urge you to consider your stance. You may not have gay and lesbian children. You may not have transgendered children. However, it's important that your own children understand that these people are part of our world and that bullying them, that separating them and that making them feel like shit is not an acceptable behavior. Whether your child is different or not, we need to celebrate difference. We need to actively allow people to explore their lives, to actively explore their own wonders and abilities in a way that is safe for them. And school, given that eight hours of our day is gonna be spent there five days a week, this is a vital place for this to happen. So I urge you for the mental health of children across Australia that this does not get shunned or removed.